And welcome back everyone on YouTube. And as you can hear, we have a bad universal joint. Well, hear and see. I want to spray, to begin with, spray this up good with some PB Blaster. And take one of these little C-clips off. And we're going to go then walk over and I'm going to show you how to remove this using a shop press. I have a 12-ton shop press. However, whether if you have a like a 20-ton or perhaps a smaller one, although a lot smaller wouldn't probably handle the job, but the principle is the same. And there we just about have using this chisel. They're a little tricky to get off. That's why I'm only going to remove the one for right now. Because once the one's removed and you push the one side of the universal joint out, the other clips will be easy to access. And there's what we needed to remove. Okay, and there, as I was saying, there's the shop press. And I have the plates to come with it mounted with C-clamps. You can see how I have it good and tightened up on one on each corner. Four C-clamps in total. And just walk around here and show you again how I do have a clamp fast and a uh, high angle look at it and there's a look from the other side of it but that's again and you want the hole in the middle so the caps from the universal joint can be pressed out and that's again this is how i'm going to set it up to do this and we're going to take and tighten of course our bottle jack part of the the press and we're going to get serious here and get to work on it and without a doubt for a good start now is to take and Put the bottle jack, pump it down closer to where we need it to remove the universal joint out of this axle shaft that we're going to be doing. And if you're the axle shaft I'm removing the universal joint ends out of a Ram 2500. If you're actually interested in how to remove one of these axle shafts in one of those trucks, I have a video on removal and installation. But this is sort of the in-between. But universal joints sort of the same principle with anything. And I, anybody that's never done one, I figured I'd make this video and show you how I'm going to remove it using the shop press. And then we're just about down to where we need to be. Right there. Now we've got pressure against it. And okay, there we go. Now we can take and start. I want to take and show you around once before we actually do any more how I have it centered uh, press itself, the pin sticking down on the upper universal joint cap, and the bottom ones again lined up with the hole underneath, so when you pump it and it pushes out, it has a place to fall to. And here's even a better look at what I'm saying. There's your universal joint cap, and you can see how I have the universal joint, I mean the axle shaft itself, they're supported around the hole, but the cap's not, it's clear of the hole so when you take and we pump it down it will fall out like it should there okay and there we're starting to pump and you can watch here you can see it slowly start to move and about another one or so okay and there's half of the one out i need to just finish it out it didn't quite come the whole way i'll just give it a couple more pumps here but there you can see now it's officially out and free of the axle shaft and furthermore there was the cap and there you can see this how it pushed down out and again that's fairly simple using i mean i for ages took and pounded these out using hammers and that over the years i never had a shop press but just this does this is actually the first universal joint I've had to do since I've owned a shop press about three years. I've used it for other purposes, but this is the first one because there's not really such a big thing anymore in the cars of the day. Alrighty, now as I was saying on these clips, once you have the one side out, that's simply a lot simpler to take and tap it loose because again it's not tied up against the axle shaft. Now they were still not exactly coming, but there it is. It's as simple as I thought it was going to. And now we have to take here and where we remove this and line it back up the other one that the cap's still on with the hole and you're we're going to have to just push it out the other way but to start it through here i'm going to just lay it down here and take a hammer and make sure you get these in straight and you don't get them in on an angle 
and start pounding it in with the hammer before we go back over to the shop press again and use that. You know, just pick it up and show you it's partially in. I'm going to take it and hit it a few more times here with the hammer before we go back to the shop press since until that's basically flushed with the actual shaft. And for right now, I say this is where we're going to take it back over to the shop press since we have it and availability to it. And take the same deal as before. Although it's a little bit more of a sloppy to get it in place now because, again, with the one universal joint cap missing, it wants to slop around. But, and again, take and pump the shop press back down into position. And there, I'd say she's lined up, and now we'll get serious and we'll take and press her out. And there's pretty much taken care of. We can loosen her up and get it out of the shop press. That went a lot simpler. And there it is. You can see it. Okay, now we just have to take and remove the universal joint from the other part of the axle shaft. And there's the big long part of it out of her way. It's not as clumsy to work with now. And then we're going to have to take and remove one of these C-clips first. Okay, and there, just a little pry, and there we have that one out. If you have never done a universal joint before, and you're starting to tear one apart, and you haven't bought a new one, all new ones come with new one of those clips, so you don't have to worry about it. It's trying to salvage the old ones or keep them. Now, just the same deal as before, except it's uh, less clumsy to work with, and we're just going to take and put the shop press back down against the universal joint cap. Okay, there it's already moving. You can see the brush breaking free. And we just have to keep pumping the shop press. And here's a little bit different view of it. I'm just making sure it is lined up at the hole. It seems to be giving a little bit of resistance. But, yeah, when it went, it went. And that's half of that one out. And we're three quarters of the way through this. And there's the cap that fell out. And I'll take it back out of the shop press. And we're going to go take and go over and do as before. We're going to have to get rid of the other clip on it before we press it the other way. Before I go to take the clip off, I'm just going to start the cap of the universal joint. It's going to have to be anyhow started out. Just tap it in a little bit first. And then I'm going to take the fine chisel again and the hammer and try to get it free. Sometimes I can say one hit and they just go flying. And then this one here is being, the cap keeps wanting to turn. And it's not doing what I wanted to, but it will come here. And there's actually just took off one more hit, and then it just took off flying. There she goes. And as before, we're going to take and hit this in with the larger hammer as far as we can without damaging where the cap's going to be sitting in the axle shaft. And that's pretty good. That's actually a little bit farther than it needed to be. And we'll just walk back over to the shop press, and this should come out real simple. And it is out. That concludes the removal step. And we'll just take and get it out of the shop press. And now we can start to eh, fall down. Who cares? I can just bend down and pick you up. And there it is. Now we're ready to go take and we can put the new one in. And there you can see the well used, worn out one. And hopefully, like I say, this last while, these are not the cheapest universal joint. They're around $45. But. Okay, there's all our parts. There's the new universal joint and the axle shaft. Yeah, I know back in the 90s, I used to drive a lot of half-ton Chevy pickups and Suburbans, and these would break a lot. But the ones for that, those axle joints for, I think, like $10. And what we want to start here with is remove one of these caps, nice and careful, because you don't want the needles that's inside to go flying out. That's sort of the one thing to be cautious of. And then 
take and we're going to remove one other one across from the, that one. Just make sure again you remove the one straight across and the other one can stay on until we're ready to install the other ones. Okay, and then we're going to take, I'm going to put it just as it came apart, start with the smaller part of the actual shaft where the hub nut and such goes on. Then you want to stick the universal joint out through the hole as far as you can then grab one of your caps and carefully install it make sure again those needles aren't falling out inside the cap start it in keep pressure I'm like have two fingers if you noticed against the back side and I'm pushing in some actually by my hand and we're going to take here carefully over here to this block of wood and again keeping pressure up against it so you don't want it to fall down free and we're going to take care of them carefully. It should go in. Usually the new ones go in easy and just tap it with the hammer. Okay, it's in about as far as it needs to be for the exact moment. I'm just going to tap one or two times more. And if you noticed, I wasn't tapping real hard, just nice and light. It was going in easy. Now I'm going to take, and we're going to same principle here. We're going to slide the other cap on. And then we have it there. And just, again, put it in from the side. And then we're going to take this to sort of split the difference there with the universal joint. Keep Start the cap in one while we're still resting in the other one. And I'm just going to take here before I even go walk over to that block of wood and carefully tap it a time or so. And once you get it in a little bit more, then you're safe. Your, your needles aren't going to fall out and you're not going to ruin the universal joint. And there's where we're at at that point. And if you notice, it's turning real free and you could actually see the needles. I mean, they were pulling like sticking through because it was not in the universal the whole way but they were all nice and in place and i'm just going to take here and now to finish tapping it in use this old beat up socket i've used it's way past <laughs> any hope that i back down to the 90s i actually used this on those old chevy trucks in the 90s i ruined the socket and i kept it for this purpose take and tap it in until you can get that c-clip on that sort of again that groove and then what i'm going to do as we're there, maybe we're going to take and just put the clip on it here. And then it slips right back into place. Now, once that clip's on, I'm going to take our socket here and hammer and tap the other cap in. It's just enough room that you can start to clip on. It's not going to take too much. Just a little bit more, and then we'll get the clip on that one. Okay, and then here and show you putting that one into place. And again, going on, they just slip right in. I will later on just take and chisel and the hammer and check them there once right right now but they seem to be again going in the whole way without no help but just to make them feel good and they are in place i'll just tap it one or two times here with the chisel now perhaps by this time in the video you're questioning why am i installing a new universal joint not using the shop press well basically i feel more comfortable with doing it with how i'm doing it here because you can carefully they're going in easy tap the new caps in while holding the shaft the caps horizontal instead of vertical like you'd have to put them vertical in the shop press till they're into place and it's just more chance of them falling out while you're doing it those needles in the caps that's sort of my reasoning for doing it i mean if i was having really big time trouble with it i would do plan b but now we can take here and put our new universal joint here in the main part of the axle shaft and pretty much just repeat what we did slide our cap on and again you can keep the shaft horizontal here slide it on nice here and careful get it lined up with the hole yeah this is a little bit trickier to do because of the main part of the axle shaft the long part it's not as simple as when you're just working with the end of it with the splines but anyhow we have it in the place here now we can start carefully taking and tapping it in with again holding pressure against it once again you get it in about to about right there you're safe on it it's not going to go any place now we're three quarters of the way there now we just need to roll it around and get the last cap on and again, this is 
pretty close here to being a completed project. And as always, I always say this, the video here, if you've watched pictures and such, there should answer most of your questions. But if you still are having any concerns or problems, feel free to post in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And there just needs a few more taps to be complete. Yes, I'll be honest, till doing this universal joint, I haven't done one of these in quite some time. I used to do a lot of them. And I'm just going to take here and tap a little bit there with the rounded part of the, the actual ball pin part of the hammer so I can just get it in enough there. I didn't go get the socket and get the clip slid in. And it's right there she goes. Which now we will take here and just take and turn the... Uh, you know, the actual shaft here and tap this other cap in a little bit there and get the clip on. And this pretty much we can write down as a done project. And another time or so, and that's pretty close. And I think that will work. And I'll show you a close up of the clip going on. Actually, it's going to take a tap or so with the hammer to get the clip in place, but there it does go. And that's it. I hope you found this video informative, helpful. And there you can see the nice movement of the new universal joint. And here's a close-up of all the clips and all in place. But I hope you like this. Please be sure to check my other videos and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.